Well, the second day of spring looked a whole lot more uh, like the last week of January. Loon Lake saw seven inches of snowfall. Hayden got four inches. Fernand Lake had six. And some people found themselves having to work outside in the blowing snow. KXLY4's Eric Loney joins us now. Erica, a little blue sky this afternoon. Now the snow's pretty much all gone. Oh, yeah, where we are. We're at Boone and Maple, and you have no idea that it snowed that much this morning. I mean, this morning you come through is almost a whiteout, but right now, you know, the trees, the grass, all bare and dry, and it's just amazing what a little bit of sunshine in a few hours, how much difference that, that can make. That wasn't a spring shower. It was more like a winter blizzard that dropped several inches of snow on the inland northwest this morning. Tammy DeCaprio hoped to drop the top on her convertible today, not clear the snow off of it. This is wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's the first day of spring was, what, two days ago yesterday? This is wrong. Bob Colton got out the snow for hopefully the last time this year. I've had plenty of snow. Listen, now this has been a hard winter. The snow might delay the flowers from blooming on this new plum tree for a few more days this spring. I think everybody's ready for spring. I mean, the crocuses are coming up, iris is coming up, and then we get this. Rex it's just really like it was probably back in, I think, January is when we had all the snow. Snow on the first day or two of spring is rare only occurring 15 times in the past 120 years, according to the National Weather Service. It's beautiful, if you like it. But I think we all had enough of it already. And even though it didn't look much like spring on Spring Street today, the nice thing about the weather this time of year is just wait a few minutes, and it will change. Yeah, the weather could change again, too. Forca there is some snow in the forecast, possibly on Sunday. Reporting live, Eric Loney, KXY4.